Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the model reasoning and context in unit 4 which is part 2. In my previous video, I explained about the first order reasoning. Now, let's understand what is model reasoning. Let's start. Now, look at here. Model logic. So, we can even say it has model logic. In before also, I explained in my before video or my previous video. The first order reasoning is also known as first order logic, which is FOL. Similarly, here also model reasoning also can be said as model logic. So, it is extensive. It is extended from classical logic. What is meant by this classical logic? I think you know. So, in the mathematics, we have some logics like end operator logic, end logic, or logic, implies, and by conditional, negation. These all comes under the classical logic. So, from this classical logic, the model logic is extended. So, I will be showing some table so that you can understand the, the classical logic. Okay. See, look at here. This is uh, this table, you know. So, we will be having a, a, B and this is the N operator and this is the OR operator like implies negation. So, this table is nothing but the logical, which logic? Classical logic. So, this is known as classical logic. I think you recollected what is the classical logic in mathematics. So, from this only the model logic is extended. Okay, now let's see. Let's come back to our model logic. Okay, now you understood what is a classical logic. With model operators to express the statements. The first order logic is also used to express the statements. Here, the model logic is also used to express the statements. To express the statements. So, what are the statements? How the statements will be there? So, let's see what are the statements over here. About necessity. Next. Possibility, belief, knowledge and other modularities. So, these are the very important things you have to remember in the model reasoning. So, these are some statements which will be expressing what are they? Necessity, possibility, belief, knowledge and modularities. Necessity, ante, inti, avasaram. Yes or no? Necessity means the necessity. The necessity, necessity thing which we need. Okay. Possibility. Okay. What is the possibility? To get the thing. How much possibility we have. So, suppose we have a thing. We have a possibility. We have a possibility. We have a try to get the particular thing. We have a thing. So, that is a possibility. Necessity. And we have a thing. We have a necessity. So, then you can see. Okay. A particular thing man kawal and amim necessities kawali. Possibility and a velo man these coach. Any possibility way so nai. A particular thing man these coach and keep believe. Believe and ten namakam. Knowledge and ten me under kitels which is the information. Manatelevi. It's nothing but the knowledge. So, these are the things which you have to remember in the model reasoning which is necessity, possibility, believe. Knowledge. Now let's see. Model reasoning in context involves applying model logic. So the model reasoning in this context. Now we are looking in the context. No. So this model reasoning. You know what is the model reasoning to express the statements? What are the kinds of statements which is necessary? Possibility, believe, knowledge. So this model reasoning in context. What will be there? Let's see what are the things which are involved in the context. This model reasoning. So look at here. It is applying the model logic. What is this model logic before? Only I said it is extended from the classical logic, which is and or implies. These are the things which are extended from the classical logic. So to reason about the knowledge within different contexts and modularities. Okay. Now let's go further so that you can understand more clearly. I think you understood these three lines okay this model logic is extended from the classical logic and this model logic is also used to express the statements like a first order logic so what are the types of statements it will be expressing like necessity possibility believe 
knowledge knowledge is nothing but the information believe means nothing but the namakam possibility means how many ways possibility ways are they to get the particular thing necessity means avasaram manaku a thing particular thing manaku kavalante em em necessary things manaku kavali okay now let's see some uh, things how it will be working here also will be having the syntax okay syntax semantics and reasoning the first order logic also will will be having uh, these three things similarly in the model logic also will be having these three things which you have to look out okay now let's see first one is a syntax so what is meant by the syntax let's see model logic introduced model operator which already i said so it is extended from the classical logic where in the classical logic will be having some operators like and or implies by conditional negation which i shown in the table so such as necessity so before only i said some some statements are used to express so what are the things so first one is a necessity so what is the symbol for the necessity this is a symbol this is a symbol for the necessity which is a square symbol small square symbol this is a square symbol okay remember this is a necessity symbol and possibility what is the possibility symbol this is a diamond symbol possibility symbol is nothing but the diamond symbol remember this two symbols which is a necessity and the possibility necessity symbol is square symbol and possibility symbol is nothing but the diamond symbol so these two symbols are used to express model statements so the statements which are there to express that statements this three this two symbols are used okay the square symbol which is representing the necessity and the diamond symbol is representing to the possibility okay now let's see the syntax of model reasoning in the context includes model operators so which are this thing to specify the mode at which mode it is to specify their mode we'll be using this operators which is necessity and the possibility i think you understood what is the syntax in the model logic in context now let's understand what is the semantics so generally semantic is nothing but the meaning you all know now let's see the semantics of model reasoning define interpretation of model operators within the specific context and modularity means what here also it will be defining define means what it's like a meaning meaning of the particular thing yes or no define definition definition means what that what is the main aspect of a particular thing so here also they are saying that define the model operator what is the main aspect what is the correct meaning of the model operator so it will be defining the model operator the meaning of the model operator so within the specific context and the modularities okay next each context or modularity defines the meaning which i said before only this this will be having some meaning of the model operator semantic is nothing but only the meaning next allowing for reasoning about the knowledge from the different perspectives so simply remember semantic is nothing but the meaning of the model operators now let's understand what is the reasoning so let's see what is the reasoning now model reasoning in the context enables reasoning about the necessity possibility believe knowledge and other modularities within the specific context means what they are saying so what are the problems occurred in the necessity possibility and believe knowledge that will be reasoned by using this reasoning as on well. next reasoning task include so will be having some task which are model inference and model consistency checking so to check the to check the particular data is correct or not so that they will be checking their consistency next model model checking even they will be checking their model also so why they will be using this all things to reduce the errors so which are perform based on the semantic of model operator within the context to so this all checking and rectification this all are done to reduce the errors in the particular data yes so no so to reduce the errors will be using this all things yes so no. this is nothing but the reasoning reasoning is only the thing 
which is used to solve the particular problem so the which the problem is occurred to solve the particular problem only the reasoning is there so that is only doing here now let's see small example so that you can understand about this model reasoning more okay detailedly so what is example over here in my previous video which i am explained um, in the first order logic also i explained you small example about the family relationship so there will be some relation between the one person to other person how i interlink this example with the first order logic Sim similarly let's see here one more example so that you can relate to the model reasoning in the context now let's see what is the example so let's see they consider a knowledge base representing information about the weather forecast you know what is the weather forecast it will be checking the weather for the few for the few two or three days future two or three days it will be predicting before only yes or no so what is the weather for the next two to three days we can predict now present only yes or no that is only the weather forecast it can be true or false but we can predict prediction is nothing but just estimation it's like a estimation yes or no so let's see this uh, model reasoning can be used to express the statement such as they have given small statements so that you can understand it is possible that it will rain tomorrow means by seeing the weather forecast they gave small statement that it may rain tomorrow it may or may not rain but what is the data is there in the weather forecast with that knowledge they said that they may rain tomorrow at the result it may or may not but this sm small assumption or we can say production okay so what they are saying it is possible what they are saying here possible possible means it is a way means oka dari undi okay repu rain padochu it is like one way to say that okay tomorrow it may rain so it's like a, that so it is possible that it will rain tomorrow we may not see it's pakka it will rain tomorrow but just it's some small, small estimation so how will be representing by using the model reasoning by using this so what is this symbol name before only i said when i am explaining here so it is a symbol for the possibility means what so in the shortcut they can say this diamond symbol and the rain by seeing this they can say that okay possibility of the rain okay instead of uh, writing this whole sentence by representing in this model logic way simply we can understand the what is the main uh, statement is there so in this way we can represent we can express the statement in the short way okay like diamond symbol and the rain means possibility of rain simply we can say in the one sentence not one sentence also it's one line okay yeah now one more example they have taken uh, with the necessity it is necessity that the temperature will be above zero degrees so what they are saying over here they are saying that the temperature may will be above zero degrees zero degrees can't equa undo chu the necessity means what it can be we cannot say it is true or false it is also production so we cannot say pakka it will be there so we are saying it may it may be okay it is necessity necessary so it is necessary that temperature will be above zero degrees so what is the difference between the possible and necessity the small difference is that possible means if we can say it may or may not but necessity means pakka it should be like that only necessarily you have to come in a school uniform only it is a necessary okay we cannot come in the color dress yes or no so necessary means it's it's a rule which you have to follow damn sure okay possibility means okay we can say it, it may possible or like a production okay we can say or we may not it may true or false that is comes under the possibility so whereas the necessity it should be there necessity it is necessary okay so the temperature must and should be above zero degrees the temperature should be above zero degrees it is must and should so that that's why they are saying necessary so in short how we can see the what is the symbol for this necessity so here only i said the necessity symbol is the square shape so the square shape you have to specify and the temperature is should be greater than the zero what is the condition they have specified which should be 
above the zero. The temperature should be above the zero. So we can represent in this way by seeing this. You can understand that okay, the temperature should be greater than zero, which is necessary. Okay, I think you got a clarity by this example. You now I think you understood about this model reasoning more. If you have still any doubts, please mention in the comment section. I will be definitely solve your doubts. I think now you understood about this model reasoning in the context. So, yes, uh, if you have any doubts, please mention in the comment section. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in next video.